Everything that we hear today about mental health and learning disabilities began with groundbreaking research, and all research starts with an unanswered question. But what exactly is research? Why is it important? And what can you do to take part? We're involved in running a number of studies, some of them are long-term studies, so two years follow-up, others are just sort of quick one-off questionnaires and we sort of work in all areas of mental health, so people with psychosis, bipolar, people that are in crisis as well as dementia. Clinical research is how we develop new treatments and knowledge for better health and care. Clinical trials assess new treatments, technologies or methods, while other research studies help better understand health and specific conditions. Clinical trials and research studies may split participants into groups, for example, giving one group the new treatment and the other the best current treatment or placebo. Researchers then compare the findings of these groups to determine how effective the new treatment is. I first got involved with research many years ago. I did, there was this trial about mindfulness and there were people who had mindfulness and the people who didn't, and it found out that mindfulness was equally as important as antidepressants. Clinical trials may benefit you or others like you in the future. If you take part in a clinical trial, you may be one of the first people to benefit from a new treatment. My experience of going through the process myself is I've been really well looked after, I've made new friends, I've learnt about consent processes and my own body in terms of the research that I've just been taking part of, so just really important things. I think there's a lot more that you can get out of, of research or being involved in research studies than one might think. Every time I got involved in a study I was stunned by how it impacted me as well. Right up to this study where I would read recovery stories. I only actually ever engaged with one of the stories um, and it impacted me so much. It was almost like that was all I, I needed to, to take away from it. Personally, I had a 95-year-old man that I had seen um, two years ago who said I was the only one person who had actually visited him many times and that he was feeling special about it. Research only happens when people volunteer to take part in studies. Research can involve patients, healthy participants or both. Without the generosity of people volunteering to take part in studies, we wouldn't be able to change people's lives for the better. The NHS needs you, it needs your input, uh, it needs your support so that together we can improve health outcomes for all. I felt like it was really, really important for us to be involved and I guess that's the importance of all research, isn't it? It's making things better for everybody moving forward. When people think of the word research, what springs to mind is a nurse or doctor in a uniform doing physical observations. But mental health research can take various different formats. There are different types of research for different people, whether that be being interviewed at home, attending a group session, or taking part in a computer task. There are so many different types of studies out there, and there will be some that are suitable and some that aren't suitable for you. It's okay to say no, even if you've been asked if you'd like to take part. Research teams will understand if you want to say no. They may see if you'd like to stay in touch so that they can tell you about studies that are more relevant to you in the future. I got the impression that the research workers and the people involved in the research project were really bending over backwards to accommodate my needs. You can always say no at any given time if it doesn't work out for you for some reason. It felt like it was led by me, that it was all optional. That was the, the, the real feeling of it. Whether you are living with a condition or simply want to make a difference for others, you can help. There are various ways to get involved. You can ask your clinician to be put in touch with the research team, or you can visit the Be Part of Research website for studies in your area, or look at your local trust website and they will have a research page for information on studies happening at the moment. Mental health research impacts real life, both now and in the future. Research can be for everyone and it can be for you. There are still so many unanswered questions and research is the answer to that. So get involved and be part of something extraordinary.